Joe Watts, after I cooperated and I was gone, I was with the government, and uh, he was making moves. John trusted him. The government came to me one time. I was believe it was when I was in the ADX Supermax. I think it was at that time. They were all excited, the government, the agents. What happened? Well, Sam, we're not supposed to talk about this, but, uh, you know, somebody else heavy cooperated. Okay. Who? Oh. Well, I told we're not supposed to tell you. I don't want to talk no more. What do you mean? I'm not cooperating no more. I try to act like a three-year-old and force them to tell me, and they did. Sam, you got it. You can't talk about this. I'm not going to talk about it, bro. Well, who am I going to go talk to? Another agent? Joe Watts cooperated. Now, Joe Watts, Jimmy Brown, Fat Dom, a bunch of guys had a case, and he was on that case. So they said, more than likely, we're going to make Joe Watts convince them to take a plea, or he's going to separate himself from them so we could treat them differently. Now they're telling me stories about things that are going on. How do you know that John said this, even if John Watts is cooperating? You're talking about current stuff. How do you know that? They said, the lawyers know that when, Joe, when John Gotti calls his lawyer from prison, they can listen for up to five minutes. After that five minutes, if there was nothing criminal and they're just talking legal shit, they have to get off legally. Yeah. So they time it. Six minutes, six and a half minutes. The lawyer gets off and gives the phone to Joe Watts. John is giving Joe Watts messages about what to do in the street. And you guys are still listening. Nope. Then how do you know? Right after he hangs up with John, he excuses himself, goes into the bathroom, and notifies us and then he calls us and tells us word for word what John said. Then we went to a judge and got a court order. That gave us the grounds to not hang up, to stay there even while the lawyers are talking. And when they hand it to them, they heard everything, every word, the whole thing. Oh, wow. That's incredible. But he's ratting on all of them. He tried to convince them to take a plea, and he did. His excuse for not taking a plea to separate himself was, they don't have a case against me because I'm not a made guy. Joe Watts was never made because his father wasn't Italian, his father was German. The other guys, they gave them a reasonable plea. They took it. And they all went to jail. Fat Dom smelt that something was wrong. He didn't take the plea. He flipped and walked out. He had a feeling that Joe Watts was cooperating. This starts to get real, real intense. 
Bruce Mal tells me, who was the head of the C-16 squad, Joe Watts is going to go into the commission and stop all the murders from all the families. Joe Watts is going to go into the commission and tell them not to kill everybody anymore? Yeah. You believe that? Joe Watts is not even a made guy, bro. He's going to go in with all the fucking bosses of all the fucking families and tell them what to do. He can't even go to a commission meeting. He's not allowed. Bruce, I think he's bullshitting you. No, no, Sammy. George Gambion was the case agent on the case. Then they start arguing. Bruce Mao was so happy with this guy cooperating. He was happy as a pig and shit. But George Gabriel knew this didn't smell right. Then he goes in and says that he's going to make them close the books, shut it down. Bruce Mao comes to me with that. So now you're telling me that Joe Watts is the boss of all bosses. He's going to go in there and tell all the bosses of all the families what to do, shut it down. Hey, good luck. You got the boss of bosses. That's great. George Gabriel jumps up. Bruce, this is stupid. This guy's lying to us. They get all their street informants and they put it together. He's lying, basically. The deal breaks down with them. Joe Watts, who didn't take the plea and is going to go to trial, is stuck down here. He's going to go on trial. He ain't got the government with him no more. But I'm not allowed to say anything as a witness because I know this whole backdoor deal. It's not legal. So they tell me, when you go understand, you can't never mention this. As soon as his lawyer opens his mouth, calls me a rat, I'm going to tell the lawyer, you're representing a rat, and I'm going to spill the fucking beans on your people and everything. You can't do that. No, don't tell me what I could do and I can't do. From the beginning, I'm supposed to tell the truth and never lie. That was our deal. You wouldn't want to make me a liar now? It fucked them up something fierce. They know they're in trouble. They offer him a tremendous deal. Joe Watts' lawyer finds out what's going on. He tells Joe Watts, don't take the deal. They're stuck. Sammy can't talk. They can't even put him on the stand anymore. He's going to be a tainted witness. And if he comes out and he don't say something, he's lying. We got them. The FBI hears this, what's going on. They fuming. They come back to me. You're going to take the stand and say whatever the fuck you want to say. Say the truth. Good. All right. I could do that. Joe Watts is all cocky. He's on trial. They have an agent on the stand. They question the agent. The trial is going to go. Joe, he's walking around the court a little cocky, smiling. He got it beat. He's going to have no witnesses. He's going to have nothing. A couple of agents bullshitting. The next witness will be Salvatore Samuel Gravano. Joe Watts, the smile disappears. Oh, my God. He grabs the lawyer. I thought you said they can't bring him out. Uh, they tell the lawyer, are you ready? He's our next witness. Joe Watts grabs the lawyer. Don't even let him talk to the prosecutors. <laughs> he pulls him on his side. Get a fucking plea for me right now. They stop it. I'm in the back room, ready to come out. 
They stop it cold, and he takes a plea, pleads out to the case, and goes away. They tell me he took a plea. They took a plea. Case over. Good. Good. Let me get the fuck out of here. So Joe Watts was an incredible informant. And he bullshitted John, bullshitted the mob, he bullshitted the agents and the government. This motherfucker don't know how to tell the truth if it's fucking... I don't even want to say what I want to say about uh, anybody else. But uh, that's your Joe Watts. Now, you people think he's a hero? Go get him, Joe Watts. Now, he did go to prison a bunch of times because the government hated him. And he did fight a case and lost and went to prison and did his time. He's another fucking dude who walks around paying Hispanic guys to walk around him and protect him with shanks. Not a tough guy who needs bodyguards in prison. He got money, so he could afford to buy them whatever the fuck they want. And, uh, and he did do a lot of work. He did. He did. I don't want to say that he didn't. But uh, that's the Joe Watts story. That's the Joe Watts that I know. I'm going to tell you one more thing about Joe Watts. When I cooperated, went away. The mafia never touches families, people who are not involved in any way, shape, or form. It came out that he wanted to kill my son. He wanted some kids to kill my son, to kind of shake me up, or whatever the fuck his ignorant thinking is to hurt a kid, to get even with me. Joey Bellotti, Tommy Bellotti's brother, who I saved, years later, this says, finds out. This story don't get any crazier. He goes to Joe Watts and tells Joe Watts, if one hair on Sammy's son is touched. If he gets into a car accident and dies by accident, I will fucking kill you the next day. No, Joey, no, it doesn't like that. I just told you. That kid better have a guardian angel and you watching over him. And if one word is talked about and it ever comes to my ears, something like that again, I will kill you. So all you people who do like Joe Watts, that's your bitch ass man. And uh, some stories I hate to tell, this one here. And he's got, uh, he's got out not too long ago. Joseph, I'm here in Arizona, motherfucker. If you'd like to visit me and talk to me about it, about killing my son, Come and talk to me, bro. Maybe we can straighten it out. Body motherfucker.